Ironically, I was working on another video essay, slowly, mind you, but once the new changes to the economy were announced, I had to stop everything to make this video. Hunt Showdown is one of my go-to games. If you're subscribed to my channel, then you'll know that I like to upload a lot of shorts for my Hunt Showdown sessions. So of course, I want Hunt Showdown as a game to succeed, its creators to succeed, and the community to thrive. This means I will do whatever I can to help make Hunt a better experience via money and feedback. For the majority of the time, I have a lot of good things to say about Hunt, even going around recommending the game to friends. But in recent months, Crytek has been making some questionable decisions pertaining game balance and monetization. Particularly, it's the changes to the economy in the game that I find to be most egregious that I believe must be discussed now, or else it'll only get worse later on. Wednesday the 31st of May, Crytek uploaded a developer's insight on YouTube discussing changes to the economy. Many of the changes were well needed and many from the community are definitely pleased with the changes. But there was one change that has the community divided. The devs decided to remove the ability to earn blood bonds by completing objectives in every match. Say, if you banish the boss and extract it with the bounty, the game will reward you with around three blood bonds. Or killing hunters can get you two or more blood bonds per match. With this new update, the only way you would be able to earn blood bonds is through weekly challenges, which you can only get 50, and through Mr. Sherry. Let's not kid ourselves here. We knew this change was coming, but it was a matter of when. In the past, the hunt devs slowly introduced blood bond changes through multiple updates. Hunters earning less and less blood bonds as the years went by. There were people who were quick to point out the slippery slope that is the inevitability of not being able to earn blood bonds for free at all, but sadly, nothing came from it. Which is ironic as well, since each time the devs announced new changes to blood bonds, it was right before the release of a new event. Clearly a way to take the attention from the growing problem that's right in front of us. Comrades. There is a disease growing within our beloved game of Hunt Showdown. A disease of greed that left unchecked will only worsen and bring Hunt Showdown to its inevitable fall. Something must be done now to halt the spread of this disease. There are those who do not care if the Hunt devs remove the blood bonds earned after each match stating that the game cannot survive on game sales alone, and blood bonds being specifically made for spending of cosmetic items that doesn't give a player an advantage in-game. So they say. I would have to agree with some things. I agree that Hunt Showdown has to find other ways to make money beyond game sales to continue improving the game and bringing us fresh content that'll keep players coming back. There are right ways to going about this, and there are wrong ways to going about this. The removal of the ability to earn blood bonds after the completion of a match is a step in the wrong direction. I believe that the system that we have right now is good. That system being, you can still earn blood bonds for free, but also having an option to buy blood bond packs or buying DLC hunter packs. I feel like the system worked well for both parties. The player can still buy legendary hunters and skins with the blood bonds they've earned by playing the game, and the devs can earn money through DLC and blood bond packs. So why change things up? Obviously, they want to push players to buy blood bond packs, which is fine but they need to figure out another way without hindering the player's experience. Well, hold on there, Ragozin. How is not being able to earn blood bonds after a match supposed to hinder the player's experience? Well, to answer your question, let's talk about another game, Fortnite. You can't really compare both games together. Yes, they're both battle royales, but they look and play completely differently. But on an economic side of things, it seems that Crytek is trying to emulate the business model of Fortnite, especially with Hunt's recent addition of a battle pass system. When Fortnite was first released as a battle royale, the game did not reward you V-Bucks for playing the game or winning a match. Later on, they would provide you challenges that gave you small amounts of V-Bucks. But make no mistake, Fortnite demands their players to pay up if they wanted to get those V-Bucks to be able to buy skins and the Battle Pass. Since the beginning of its official release, 
Hunt Showdown rewarded its players with blood bonds for accomplishing feats after each game. It was small amounts, but it was still generous. Generous enough to allow you to buy skins with the blood bonds you fought very hard for. Alright, so why bring Fortnite into this? Fortnite has its own incentives to keep their players playing, and Hunt Showdown has its own incentives to keep players returning. Hunt Showdown is about to make a huge mistake by removing that one big incentive. Granted, not every game needs to give you the incentive to play their game by giving you free shit. The simple satisfaction of a win is all the reward you need to keep coming back. But Hunt Showdown has accustomed its players to expect payment if they did an outstanding job in their match. And for a game like Hunt Showdown, it needs that little incentive to sweeten the deal. Hunt Showdown is not an easy game. It will gape you out and finish in your mouth in the most vile way possible. But we say nothing because of the satisfaction of extracting with a bounty and with the little blood bonds we've earned in that match. If Hunt takes away the Blood Bond incentive, then I believe a good portion of the community will start to question if Hunt is even worth playing anymore. I can't even say they'll question if Hunt is fun to play anymore. Everyone, and I mean everyone, asks themselves this every time they play. But like a dog with his vomit, we always come back for more. I firmly believe, though, that if you take away a player's ability to earn Blood Bonds for free, then we'll start to see players leave the game since there isn't much reward to be earned anymore. Of course, people who just buy Blood Bonds aren't going to care about this change, but I ask you to extend your hand a bit to share some sympathy for your less fortunate comrades. I believe that there are better ways of handling this situation of keeping both players and creators happy. But first, we must stand firm against this issue until the change is reversed. A boycott might sound too extreme, but it's what we need to cure ourselves from this greed. Well, how do you boycott a game that you've already paid money for? Well, like we've established earlier in the video, Hunt can't survive alone on game sales. So the way we boycott Crytek is we don't buy any more Blood Bond packs or any Hunter DLCs until they undo this change. Maybe even go as far as to say not play the game at all. But I highly doubt that works since we're close to playing the new event with the new boss. I hope this video is received well and my message will reach to other people with bigger platforms who can actually stir up the pot. Truly, I wish the best for the game and its developers. But we must do something before it's too late. Perhaps a not-so-extreme alternative can be proposed. Hopefully, it's something that will bring meaningful change. Thank you for listening. The comments are open if you want to call me a retard or commend me. Either way, I hope you'll heed the warning of many of the downfall of the game we all love to play. Hunt Showdown. Goodbye. For now.